Peter Kirstenau is on the U.S. Commission on Civil Rights, and he joins us tonight. Peter, thank you for coming on. Good to be so back. Given everything you've seen, what would happen if the people who are encouraging mob intimidation and extremism, and they are encouraging it openly, what would happen if they took the reins of actual power in this country? You know, there's been maybe two instances in the history of the United States where this kind of activity has been replicated. And I would think that one of them might be the Reconstruction era, where you had a resistance in the South resisting the results of the Civil War and the reunification of the country. Right. And you had public officials exhorting private citizens to deprive other private citizens of their rights to public accommodations, to privileges and immunities uh, that are secured to all citizens and were secured by the Civil War. That has only happened once before in our history where public officials are actually exhorting private citizens. In that case, the private citizens they were exhorting were the Klan, who was the military ring at the time essentially of the Southern Democrats, to deprive blacks of their rights under the law and also deprive them of public accommodations. You might say that Jim Crow era, but you might have a singular governor of a southern state who might stand in a schoolhouse door, but they weren't actually exhorting private citizens that much to do so, although that did occur. But now we have this, and it's extraordinary because I think we're at this inflection point for a host of reasons, but the framers gave us a Republican system of governance to shield us against Mob, mob violence and the passions of the day. But that depended really on two things, and that is a informed electorate, informed citizenry, and responsible elected officials. As to the former, we have now a extremely biased media that doesn't really inform, but proselytizes and harangues and acts as an organ for one particular side to get their viewpoint out. And our educational system hasn't been teaching effective history for 30 years now. And with respect to responsible elected officials, if you think back to you know the last 50 years or so, it's difficult to imagine, or go back throughout our history, it's difficult to imagine any of the founding fathers, a Madison, a Jefferson, a, a Lincoln, a Roosevelt, an Eisenhower, Reagan, doing the kind of uh, inflaming of the electorate the way we see some elected officials doing. But even aside from that, not inflaming it, but not even trying to tamp down the passions and the rhetoric that the founders understood were anathema to an effectively governed republic. This is an inflection point. You're exactly right. And you put it in the perfect perspective. Thank you very much. Peter Krishnow, it's always great to see you. Thanks, Tucker.